What's up guys, Paul here with the Stream Geeks. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how to connect vMix with Zoom and Zoom to vMix the right way, video, audio, everything you need to know. Whether you're using vMix to bring in guests, have a really cool interactive virtual party, uh, there's so many ways to use this. You can use pretty much any video production software, including you know vMix, Wirecast, OBS, and XSplit to do this. And it works with pretty much any video conferencing software as well. Zoom, BlueJeans, WebEx, Microsoft Teams. So it's really worthwhile taking a look at. You can put yourself kind of front and center and really make some awesome productions. We're going to cover this every bit of that you need to know, starting with a cool little diagram. So vMix on the left, Zoom on the right. Let's cover the video part first because that's really simple. Essentially, vMix has what they call an external output. And when you enable that external output, it can pump any of the video that vMix is using to any other software that can pull in a webcam. So obviously Zoom can do that. So we'll show you how to select the virtual webcam output of vMix and bring that into Zoom. That's the easy part. The other easy part is getting the video from Zoom into vMix. You can just do a screen capture of Zoom, whether you have it in speaker mode or uh, grid view, which is really nice. Uh, we actually do two screen captures from time to time and run two Zoom meetings. But regardless, that's the easy part. And we'll show you how to add that desktop capture input into vMix. And then the audio part is not that hard, but I think it, people get tripped up by this. We need to send audio from vMix into Zoom and take the speaker output, the audio from Zoom back into vMix. And there's a little bit of mix minus there. We're probably not going to want to hear ourselves speaking. And so we'll, we'll, we'll mix that audio out and we'll show you how to do that. But we're going to need to do two virtual audio cables. So using Windows, we are going to install not one, but two virtual audio cables. One for the audio output from vMix to Zoom. And then another one to take the speaker output from Zoom and bring that in as a microphone input into vMix. So how do we do that? Let's head over to Google and type in virtual audio cables and click the download button. Now we are going to need two cables. So we use the A and B and you're going to need to make a small donation to a VB audio web shop. I think it can be any amount that you'd like and download the A and B cables. So I've already done that. So I go to my downloads here and download that and I'll even walk you guys through installing it. Once you get this, there will be an A and a B folder. Essentially, uh, you need to install both of these drivers. You can see this says installed, so I'm good to go there. Um, and you're going to need the A and the B. Just install them both. Then they will be available as virtual audio cables in your system to be used for all kinds of things. Now, we talked about this external button. Just wanted to show it in a little more detail. That's the button you're going to want to click to send the video output from vMix into Zoom. By default, that will just take whatever is in the right side of your production, the output side, and just send it right over to Zoom. It's that easy. In Zoom, you just want to click that up arrow and select the vMix video option. That is a technically a virtual camera output into OBS, or sorry, into Zoom right there. So that's pretty straightforward. Now, really quickly, another simple one here is how do we capture the video from Zoom and bring that in to vMix. Well, that is done via a desktop capture. We go to the add input button, we hit desktop capture. We choose the screen that we wanna capture and now we have got everything on that screen in vMix. So that'll bring in all of your guests. Now I should note really quickly that the external option in vMix actually has a bunch of great options. You can have up to four outputs and you can choose any input to be an output. Um, if you'd like to look more into the options, you can go to the settings area and click the external output option to really dig into what you are outputting directly into Zoom. Maybe you don't need 1080p, for example. Um, but you click that external button and you're good to go. Now let's take a look at the audio output. So in settings, there's an audio output section and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight audio buses that you can use. We're going to use audio cable A as our A bus output. So once we've enabled an audio bus output, 
they, they will show up in every single audio input in your system. So that little A button there, if you click that, that allows you to send that audio out of that audio bus. So we use this a lot like with Audacity to record audio out of vMix, for example, but we can also use it to send a custom mix directly to Zoom. So we don't have to choose everything. It could be just a few things. Now, the other thing I love about this is that vMix supports BST3 plugins. So we use NS1, which is really like the industry's best noise suppression plugin. It's really great for reducing background noise. And then we also use Renaissance Axe, and this is a really kind of great boost to the audio to make it sound fuller and more like almost like the radio. So you can do that on the audio coming in from Zoom and the audio coming out, and it will make your audio not only to the far end of people joining your Zoom session, but also the audio coming in much better. There's also compressors and EQs and that much needed audio delay, which we add about 50 milliseconds to just to make our audio and video match even better than before. Now, the, the final thing here on the audio side is we have to add an audio input, and that is going to be uh, audio uh, speaker, audio cable B, because audio cable B will be the incoming audio from Zoom. And, and we'll, I'll show you how to do that. You just have to select that as your speaker output. Now, again, like I mentioned, now we can add these VST3 plugins to um, our incoming audio via Zoom, and it's going to sound a ton better. So just to review that a little more detail one more time here, there's that audio output section. We're choosing cable A. That is the audio going from vMix to, to the audio A bus, which we're selecting inside of Zoom. And then we have the ability to check these little uh, boxes to decide which audio do we want to send to Zoom. Now, let me cut over to Zoom here and show you all this working and the final part of this, which is the output, uh, the speaker output from the Zoom session, the Zoom audio coming out of Zoom back into vMix. So there's this whole select the microphone, select the speaker section. You can see here my microphone is cable A and my speaker is cable B. Now, something to really quickly check is you should see audio levels on this little, see that? As I speak, the audio levels come up in Zoom. So that's how we know our microphone is working. But how do we know if the audio output is working? Well, we can open up the settings here. And again, we're seeing our audio come in perfectly, but we can also do this little test speaker button. And voila, it's working. So we know that the audio coming in from Zoom is coming directly in to, um, let me just check that really quickly. All right, so 21 audio cable B output, because I wanted that to play for you guys. I had that. Uh, muted. Let's let's turn that on real quick. Okay, so now you guys should be able to hear this when I hit test speaker. Beautiful. I had that muted for a second. So now we know the audio output coming from there is working. Now there's one final little bit to this that we do need to cover, which is you do not want to hear yourself sometimes in the audio output mix. Well, why is that? Well, we need to talk a little bit about bringing the audio. How are you actually going to listen to the audio coming from the far end? There's two ways to do this. And we work with a lot of churches that do this. They want to be able to hear the Zoom conference with speakers. And so essentially, you can take that audio output now that it's in vMix and actually decide where you want to send it. You might want to send it to an audio mixer that has speakers, right? So uh, you might need to look at your audio speakers. The way that we do it in our studio is I actually wear an in-ear audio monitor. So I can actually hear the audio coming from our computer into my ear. We have like a little wireless audio in-ear monitor system so I can hear that. Now, I don't like hearing myself, right? And, and so, so when the audio is coming back into my ear, if I hear myself, it's really annoying. So you can take that audio input and just mute the headphones. That's what, what we do so that I don't have to hear myself in the headphones. 
All right, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed our video on how to connect vMix and Zoom, Zoom to vMix. Let us know what you think in the comments below. I think we did a much better job than our last video and you guys let us know in the comments. So let us know again if you enjoyed this one and uh, talk soon.